SNES Drunk. Hey, how you doing? Welcome back to SNES Drunk Play Secret of Mana, and I'm just plowing along. We're eventually going to hit a castle here, uh, the Haunted Castle, I guess it's called. Here in the forest, typical maze, dungeon grinding, finding your way around, wrecking everything in your path, and me bitching about uh, music. Yeah, music, quote unquote, columnists and journalists and the like. I really take issue. Not to, uh, I gotta keep rambling about something, I guess. Might as well be music in 2015 or the way people, people in magazines like, or on websites like Pitchfork or whatever, the way these people talk about and cover, like, they dedicate their coverage to music in terms of news by, like, and reviews and stuff like that. God, I can't remember the last time I read a music review. Um, as if that has any influence whatsoever, but, um, like, somebody, like, I, I really, t this is, I'm gonna sound like get off my lawn old man right now, but, uh, I'm gonna have another drink as I pontificate on that. Hey, that, that's where you need the whip to get back, so that's how I know I'm going in the right direction. I think this takes us to the castle. Drink real quick. There we go, okay. So, um, yeah, my get off my lawn comment is that I really resent when the word good is used in to describe music. Like, as if, uh, you know, obviously there's good as in, like, te like skilled. Like, obviously somebody like Adele is very s a skilled vocalist. She's got a great voice. There's, there's no mistaking that. But I just hate the idea of... Just if you call something good, then that implies that everyone should would, should be listen to should be listening to it because why wouldn't they? It's good. It has a universal constant. We are at the castle. Cool. I hate these things. I haven't gotten moogled yet, though. I don't think. Like I said, I've been busy, busy. Ra oh, and I jinxed it. Like I said, I've been busy rambling. So maybe this happened already, and I just wasn't paying attention. But um. Yeah, you call music good, it implies that you live in this, like, solipst... However you say that word. Solipstic? Solipstic? Lipstick? <laughs> I don't remember how you pronounce the word. It's the kind of... It's the... It, like, everybody in your er, in the universe should listen to the same stuff because it's good. It's like, no. That's not how it works. It's... Music is entirely subjective. That's what makes it fun. You get to like whatever you want. You don't have to like something. That always really bothers me. Um, I don't think there's anything... Yeah, actually, there's a stupid, annoying tiger thing that's curing everything. Let's take him out. But he is very dangerous because, uh, like I said, he renders your wind-up attacks pointless. Well, that, for some reason, that one stayed and the other ones didn't. <coughs> Excuse me. Girl needs to level up here, or Penny, I should say, needs to level up here, lest she take too much damage and she falls by the wayside. Yeah, I think it's the Cup of Wishes that um, allows you to uh, bring people back to life. Do I really need to kill this guy? I might as well. I can reach him. There we go. See, that raccoon thing has a, has a uh, even though it doesn't really look like a raccoon, that's what it's called. But uh, that has like a, a real skeleton, so it's actually kind of creepy and disorienting to see a skeleton fall to pieces. Whereas like a bee, it's like, okay, I guess bees have like exoskeletons, but they don't rattle and stuff like that when you s slice them with swords. Ah, yes, drunken rambling. All right, are we to the boss yet? No, we got a long way to go. Ah, walked right into that one. Literally. Anyway, what was I talking... I was talking about Faith No More a while ago. They are one of my all-time favorites. Um, they have a song... I've been listening to uh, the album Angel Dust from... I think that was recorded in 92. Uh, so it's pretty old. But, um... And I point that out because there is a song on that album. Oh, I hate these chairs. These things are very dangerous. 
You gotta be very careful, keep your distance, time your attacks. There we go. Okay, she reached level 7. Good. I don't know if, if I've pointed this out or if it's been noticed, but if you level up, you get uh, a uh, your level. You, you get all your hit points filled up to that point, which is fair, I guess. I mean, the, the game is so unfair and so unbalanced in other areas that it's only fair that you get uh, your life back. Anyway, going back, Faith No More. Um, they, Mike Patton, long time ago, the singer Mike Patton. Ah, I walked into it again. Um, he, for whatever reason, thought it would be a good idea to apply for Scientology. Um, and I guess there is a, um, an application filled out with all sorts of ridiculous questions. And what he did was he made a song. It's the first song on the album where all the lyrics are made up of questions from that application. And there are <laughs> some of the questions are hilarious. Like, do you often sing or whistle just for fun? <laughs> Scientology wants to know. I just thought it was interesting that, like, Scientology was a thing even back then, and they were heavily recruiting and, you know, looking, looking for people, and they were just as ridiculous back then as they are now, and I just got poisoned. But um, w another question I love is, uh, and it's the chorus, is does, your, does life seem worthwhile? And I just love that question. You imagine finding that, oh god, these fucking guys. I need to uh, get myself some candy. There's two of these things, and here's where you're having a projectile weapon helps. God. Should I just go past them? Ah, oh, Jesus. Anyway, I ask you, viewers, does life seem worthwhile to you? Because it doesn't to Penny, because she just died. I just love the sentiment behind that. Like, does life seem worthwhile? And it's like, oh, you know, I could find myself, you know, I, I, I'll take some time for life. I'll, I'll, I'll have life, you know. It's worthwhile, once in a while. Sometimes it's not. What's with these people? Hmm, can't get in here. Let's go back. I'm missing something. The, that button is supposed to trigger something. I think it's supposed to unlock them. But it doesn't. I think on the right side of the room there is uh, another uh, thing. So I'm with two dead compadres. Oops. I'm with two dead compadres here. Do not go in that room. It is filled with chairs. Those chairs I was talking about earlier that will kill you. So, yeah, I was wrong. You need to talk to the prisoner, I think. I, I don't remember what else to do. I think I need uh, to get past these people and not fight them, like, at all. Get out of my way, please. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go talk to the prisoners. Does life seem worthwhile to you? What do you got to say for you? For yourself. Oh, pfft, that's what unlocks it. I've had a bit to drink, folks. I'm sorry. Yeah, even though they're ghosts, they can still talk. I don't know how. But there's not three people here. But that's where Nico comes in to, uh... She got caught. You can buy... Ah, I've got enough money now. You can buy Cups O' Wishes. And candy. You want to fill up on as much candy. This next boss fight uh, coming up may be the hardest of the game. Just because it's so... Um, it, unless you really stop to grind, it's... <coughs> excuse me. It's uh, bad times. It's You, you don't want to be under-leveled. Let's load up on some chocolate here, too. To use up the exact amount of gold that I have. Perfect. Nope. All right, now let us bring these two back to life because now they find life worthwhile at this moment. It could change at any point. All right, is there anything else I can do? Everybody's equipped with everything. Oh, he doesn't have an elbow pad. Whatever, that doesn't matter. And we're back up by these stupid tiger things. Oh, actually, you know what? We can skip them now, and we'll do that next time.
Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.